Welcome to this channel. As you can see on my screen, this business manager has been restricted and the other accounts that are also in this business manager have also been restricted. That is why when I come to this business manager and I scroll down to other accounts and I try to check other accounts, I am told um, all accounts owned by this meta business account are disabled and new ones can be created. Now, what happens is that um, if you go to if you log into your Facebook and you come to the business manager, just want to show you. I'm going to help you resolve this problem that you can see here. And I'm going to show you the practical procedures you have to follow to get it reinstated. I have used this procedure to reinstate over 2,000 Facebook accounts in the last three years. And I can help you. I will also help you get a solution. So take time to follow this uh, process to the end. Even if you follow it to the end, and you don't get a solution, you can follow the links in the description. You can follow the WhatsApp links in the description. You can also check our website link in the description, follow it to our website and check. We also have advertising solutions where we can advertise and help you get effective results and help you get high converting results. You can also check on our website, which is GIETWorldwide.com. You can check GIETWorldwide.com. Um, you can see more of our services there. Now, um, the reason why your business manager may be, may be restricted, the number one reason is that you might have violated Facebook policies. You might have violated Facebook policies. So if you violated Facebook policies, your business manager may get restricted and the other account in it will also get restricted. So first of all, you will come to your ad manager. If you come to the ad manager and you go to that business manager that has the problem. In fact, this particular ad account I'm trying to work is for a client. The one that I'm showing you here is for a client. So I'm actually an admin of the advertising account, but I previously wasn't a certain ad for the uh, ad account. So for that one, you will not see the advertising account here. But if the particular, um, I am an administrator of that advertising account and I come to the ad manager and I switch to that advertising account, you will see the details of that advertising account that will appear on the screen. So what you basically have to do is, if you see something like ad account disabled, you can use this ad account to run ads and you see C details. When you click on the C details, it, it will bring you here. It will bring you to account quality. Or you can still go and click on the three lines and click on, um, you see account quality. When you click on account quality, it will still bring you to account quality here, as you can see. Now, after you've come to account quality, you will be asked to request a review. You'll be asked to request a review. And to request a review, what you need to do is that you have to make sure that you change your details to match with the ID card you're going to use to request a review. Because when you are requesting a, a review, you have to confirm your identity. And to confirm your identity, you have to make sure that your ID card that you're using for the identity is matching with your information on Facebook. As I said earlier, one of the reasons why your Facebook account may be restricted or your business manager may be restricted is because you have probably violated Facebook policies. And normally when you want to know the reason why you are violated, uh, the reason why your account is restricted, when you come to account quality, you will see the restriction, the reason for the restriction. Normally, if you want to come to account quality and you have problems, just come and click on this. Okay, okay. So I'm in the user, user account now. Now, when you scroll down from here, when you scroll down to view, view my account, very good view my account you will see here this is the user account that's what i was looking for so now go to the user account so when you come to the user account you will see if your user account is not restricted if your facebook user account is not restricted it means that you can still create other advertising accounts but our important the, the aim here is to reinstate the business manager but i just want you to know that if your user account is not restricted and it is your business manager or your page restricted. When you come here, you will see all assets that are restricted will show here. All assets that are restricted will show here. So here, it is a business manager that has, that has been restricted. And that is what I'm trying to um, reinstate. So if I click on it here, it is supposed to open and give me this interface. And you will see the reason why the account is restricted. According to them, this business account may be restricted from selling 30 days after May 24 for the following reason. And the reason is that the business account doesn't comply with our comments 
terms, including section one of our e-commerce eligibility requirements. So we need to go to um, the e-commerce eligibility requirements and see what they are talking about. They are talking about complying with their policies, representing a real business and your domain, your website domain, be located in a supported market, demonstrate web trustworthiness. Located in a supported market is talking about you falling within a market that is uh, allowed on Facebook, demonstrating trustworthiness and providing accurate information and follow best practices. These are the reasons. Sometimes too, it could just be a mistake. So you have to appeal and to appeal, you have to write a letter and let them know that you are sure you haven't violated their policies, okay? So what you do is you come and go to your profile on the top right-hand corner, click on settings and privacy. From settings and privacy, you go to settings. And from settings, you come to your name, change your first and last name. If you have a middle name on your ID card, also make sure that it is matching. And when I talk about first and last name, we're talking about the first and last name on your ID card, such as your um, national identity card, your passport, um, your driving license, and your voter ID card. Make sure the name is matching. After those names are matching, so you come back a step, and then you check your birth date. So you come to your Facebook home, then you click on your name on the left-hand corner, go to the About section, go to Contact and Basic Info, and check the date, the month, and the year. Make sure that it is matching with what is on your ID card. Make sure it is matching. If you have already changed your birth date up to three times, you will not be allowed to change it. In that case, you check the link above and follow it to that video. I have provided a video on if you cannot change your birth date because you've changed it several times, more than three times, or up to three times. I've provided that link that you can follow to that video and learn how to change it if you are in that category. Okay, so once those things are done, you now have to write a letter. What are the things you should in include in the letter? You have to indicate to them the, um, why you think your account should be reinstated. So when you click on request review, they will ask you to submit your ID card. My own, they are not asking me to submit the ID card because I recently did identity confirmation, not up to a month ago. So they are not allowing me to request review again. Okay, so you have to come and request review. So when you are requesting a review, they will ask you the reason why you are requesting the review. And so you have to indicate. Um, the letter I wrote, I'm pasting it there. So what did I write? I said, dear Facebook or Meta, my Facebook business, business manager account has been restricted. And I am told um, it doesn't comply with our e-commerce policies. And I quoted what they said. They said it does not comply with their e-commerce policies, including section one of the commerce eligibility requirements. And I am extra sure I've taken time to go to Facebook policies in detail, including section one of the e-commerce eligibility requirement, which is the rule or the policy they have violated. That is why they have raised, uh, restricted this account. So I've made them understand that I've checked that policy and I can see the business is in compliance with that particular policy. I am extra sure it's a mistake from them and not from us. They should please go through and reinstate this account. Yeah. And I'm just trying to insert another sentence to that particular text I already wrote, just to make my point. So I've just tried to explain in detail the reason why I think this page should not be restricted. And I even quoted the law, the, uh, the section one of the commerce eligibility requirements, which I came to indicate it here. So I had to copy this link and I even said that um, I have Study Facebook policies in detail, including section one of the commerce eligibility requirements. And I am extra sure this business has not violated their policies. And I describe what this business is about. This business is into pet related service. We provide humane solutions to provide uh, to, to prevent against excessive backend of dogs. And so there's nothing evil about this business or nothing fraudulent about it. So we are trying to we are providing a genuine service, so they should reinstate the business manager. So as I have written that, then I send. Okay, so the review has been submitted and after 48 hours, we expect to receive a response from Facebook team so that um, we, we just hope that the, the business manager will be reinstated. And 
on several occasions, it will be reinstated. It's sometimes just a mistake by the system. The system may suspect something foul, which may not be true, and the business is going to be reinstated. If you follow this procedure and you don't get a solution, don't hesitate to contact us. Follow um, the, 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 the link in the description and to contact us and we'll help you. You can also take a look at the testimonies you can see on the screen that we've done for several other people and they've got their solutions. Thank you once again and see you in the next video. Bye-bye.